How's it going, Aaliyah? Thanks for doing this. Um, I think, you know, we were kind of a little surprised too when NC State got a number one seed to start the program. What were y'all thinking right then when they got the number one and then Texas A&M? Um, I mean, when NC State first got it, I, I kind of didn't know what to expect because I've never really like sat through one of the um, reveals. So I was kind of like, okay, um, hopefully we're the next number one that pops up in the next region. And then when Texas A&M got the number two seed, I was like, okay, this is us. We're definitely, we're definitely getting it. But there's a little, little nervousness. I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know about this one. And then it worked out. Joe and then Keith. Aliyah, you just mentioned it. This was your first time going through a selection show as part of a team. What was that moment like for you, just experiencing the whole thing, Selection Monday, and seeing your name pop on the board? I was so excited. I had my phone ready to record everybody's reaction. I was like, this is the best time of my life. My family group chat's talking about, oh my gosh, I think it's happening. I think it's their turn. I was like, yes. Keith and then Bill. Hey, Leah, so uh, how refreshed do you feel uh, not having to play any games after the, you know, grueling SEC tournament? And this is your first NCAA tournament. How's it going to be, you know, with minus your only senior, uh, without Lily, and then, you know, who have you been most impressed with in practice the last few days for players to step up uh, off the bench? Um, what's the first part? Um, just going to your first time. Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited uh, about the tournament. Um, I'm just, I'm just excited to see what this team can do. And yeah, going into the tournament without Lily being able to play, I mean, we're really sad, but Lily's still been with us the entire time, cheering us on, talking to us, giving us the type of encouragement and kind of coaching um, from a player standpoint that we, that we really need. So we're really excited about that. Um, what was the last part of that? Oh, we had days off. Oh, days off. Yeah, days off. Um, I mean, we the days off were were good. We were able to get in the gym, um, work on a lot of new things. So really excited about that. And I think everyone has really stepped up. Anaya and LA have really been doing a great job in practice um, on some some of the new things that we've been working on. So I'm really excited for that. We'll go to Bill. I believe joining us from the Virgin Islands. Yes. Yeah. How are you doing, Aaliyah? Good. How are you? Great. Um, Looking back at a year ago, and when all of this went down with COVID and everything, you said there were quite a few tears shed among the players, your teammates. What's the feeling now? Is it almost like, okay, is this actually happening now? Are we going to get the play, or is there anything more? We're just, we're just really excited. We're really excited for the opportunity. Just like you said, last year it was kind of just taken away really quickly and we didn't really get to experience this, but now that we have, so we're just excited to see what happens in San Antonio. Matt. Is there a fear then that maybe you might get over anxious, especially with the first game? I don't think so. I think we're, we've just been doing a lot of work and we're ready for it. Matt and then Pam. Oh yeah, I know everyone has been asking you about uh, last year's team and because you guys were slated to be the overall number one seed. How much will Ty and Kiki be on your minds over this tournament? Will they be any extra motivation to kind of play for them too, in a way? Um, um, I, they they definitely are. We're, kind of, we're thinking about them just not being able to get the opportunity to play last year with them, but we're, we're a fresh team and we're coming into San Antonio without them, but we're just excited for the opportunity. Cam and then Greg. Hey, Aaliyah, I know for a lot of you guys, this is your first trip to the tournament, so it's not necessarily going to feel that different, even though this tournament, the bubble, is going to be very different. But how does that play into your preparedness and just getting ready for kind of just life in a hotel for the next couple of weeks with games in between? We just we just have to be locked in with everything we do, making sure we're just continuing to do what we've, we have been doing and making sure that we're just listening to the coaches when it comes to um, on the court stuff and just making sure we're engaged in every aspect of it. Greg and then Brandon. Haley, you kind of already mentioned this, but how have you seen Lily kind of respond to this really unfortunate thing? And, and what can she provide for you guys in San Antonio? Lily has responded in just such a great way. She 
she's always she just stays talking to us when we're on the court telling us what she sees um what she thinks we could do just giving input here and there and just continue to bring the energy that she brought when when she was able to play with us brandon and then joe Hey, Leah, just kind of going off of Cam's question, uh, what are you guys, you know, bringing to the bubble? Coach mentioned that each one of you is going to have a basketball, but what are you guys kind of bringing to the bubble to maybe help entertain yourselves in your guys' hotel room for what you hope is a long stay? Um, I was planning on bringing Netflix. If you guys have any um, suggestions, like, please, I might give you a second to just throw some out there because I'm about to be finished with Criminal Minds and I don't know what else to do. So Netflix and TikTok. <laughs> Joe and then Dick. Aliyah, are you guys approaching this bubble experience as more, even more so as a team bonding moment? It's been that way all season, right? You guys have been together all year to get through this season. So how close have you guys really become with each other? And how would you describe the camaraderie among your teammates? Yeah, we've definitely gotten so much closer as the season went on. Um, and I, I just think we're, we're ready to go into San Antonio as a team, ready to play as a team and just kind of do everything together. We have such a great relationship on and off the court. So that's definitely an important aspect to how successful we are. Yeah, and then we will wrap it up with Pete. When Lily got hurt in the championship game, it looked like that Bree really stepped in and did a lot of little things offensively and defensively. Do you think that this may be a chance that she expands her role in what she can do now going into play? I, I definitely think so. I think Bree stepped up great in the championship game, hit some big shots, had some big layups and big rebounds. So I definitely think going into the tournament, she's definitely going to be able to do that. But I think together as a team, we're also going to be stepping up. Every single, every single player is just going to continue to do what they've been doing or just do it a little bit better. And the last question to Pete. Hey, Leah, along those uh, same kind of lines, I know last year going into the tournament, everybody considered you guys – like a runaway favorite, do you feel like you guys have a really good shot at, uh, at a national title or are you not even looking ahead that far right now? I definitely think we do. I mean, I think we're a great team and we have a lot of different weapons. And so I definitely think that we have a great shot at this and I'm really excited to go to San Antonio to find out.